What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Micah Belly, and I'm back with another reaction video. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe right now. You guys, I don't know what the hell is going on with my subscriber count thing, man. You know, last night we had like 21, 19, and it was just like up and down. Like, it went from 16 to 18, 19, and then after that it was 20, then it was 21, and then now we back down to 16. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, we gonna keep going, man. No matter if they coming with us or if they leaving us or if they just going somewhere else to subscribe to somebody else, who knows, who cares? You know, I mean, I look at it like this, man. You know, when people unsubscribe, I don't take it personally. You know, it just calls for more of the right people coming in and joining the family. You know what I'm saying? We just need the right ones. But anyway, this that robberies that went super wrong reaction video. Let's get into it, man. They say you should never bring a knife to a gunfight, but they never mentioned anything Facts. about mops. This robber is making a speedy getaway. It looks like he's in the clear as he approaches the exit. Too bad he couldn't tell the glass door was closed. Oh, dude! Several mistakes. Number one, showing her face, but... Dude, how you not know that? That's glass. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I'm asleep. I'm asleep, man. The glass could be clean as hell, you guys. And I'll still know that that's glass and not... Worlds, they should retitle this to... I can already see where this is going already, and they should retitle this to dumbest, World's Dumbest Criminals. I can see it like... Dude, what? For putting on her mask. Number two, not watching where she was going and tripping over a parking median. Fail. What is that bulge in... And the window didn't even break. Like... This crime duo roll up on a motorcycle. One goes inside to rob the place while the other waits outside for a quick getaway. <coughs> Let's just say things don't go as planned. One robber comes flying out of the window, and the other drives off, leaving his friend in the street. <laughs> Watch closely, and you'll see this person snag a pumpkin off a porch and run. How petty can y'all be? A pumpkin, really? Y'all that bored. What was y'all about to do with that pumpkin anyway? Other than make some pumpkin pie. Make some pumpkin pie. Because like, that's the only thing I can think of. Like Stuff like that, that's pointless to steal. Like, y'all be stealing stupid stuff. Like, you, you, you guys as thieves, you guys steal stuff that has no value whatsoever. At least if you're going to steal something, my thing is, like, steal something that's worth something. You know, you guys steal stuff that's not even... You guys steal toilet tissue. You guys steal car refreshments out of the store. You guys steal stuff that's not even necessary to steal. Stuff that costs like a dollar, three dollars. Come on now, man. Keep your eye on this woman. A group of people are trying to rob this corner store, and she takes it upon herself to save the day. Hey. <clears throat> That just show you right there how bad everybody want want the drip. They want the Rolex. They want the Audemars. They want the Patek. You know, but at the same time, like I tell everybody else, man, you know, when it comes to things like those, you got to work hard for it. People that you guys see have these things, they work their asses off to get it. You know, that's they don't just rob store Rolex stores or whatever and just come on now, bro. Y'all know better. Half the stuff that I'm saying, you guys know, know this already. Thieves even watching this video, you guys know this. You guys want something that bad, man, you just gotta work for it and save your money. It, that's really the only way to do it. <sighs> I 
don't even worry about what somebody else got. See, that's the thing. That's the problem with this generation. I feel like everybody is worried about what somebody else got. Don't worry about what everybody else got. Worry about what you have. Stay in your lane. If you can't afford a Rolex right now, just save up for it. Eventually, over the course of time, you stacking your money and saving your money, it's going to happen. That's just common sense. But if you sitting up here just trying to steal it, that ain't no, that, that's not a come up, bro. This guy covers up one security camera, but doesn't realize there are others. Check out that makeshift mask he's wearing. It's robberies like this that make you wonder what they were thinking. This guy steals a woman's purse, but leaves his expensive scooter behind, so she grabs it. Now that's justice. I've seen a video similar to that on Instagram, actually, and it wasn't this one. It was actually one similar to it. Like, it was the same exact kind of um, scenario where the guy took the purse, but the lady took his his bicycle. Or so. It was something like that. I forgot what it was. I don't know if it was his car. It was something expensive in terms of transportation. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, you guys are dumb, bro. woman is brilliant she sees that she's about to be robbed and what does she do flips all of her things over a locked gate forcing the robber to flee if you're gonna steal an armload of beer and run Damn. securely fastened <laughs> hey that's why you, you guys ever hear og is telling y'all Stop sagging your pants, wearing the pants half off your your ASS. That's exactly why. Like if some if you running, get... I feel like more than half the stuff I'm telling y'all. Somebody didn't already told you guys this before, but why y'all not following directions? I don't know. But literally, my man right here just dropped the whole thing, case or bag, whatever it was, a beer. Simply because his pants were sagging. His pants was falling off. I could see it if it was just like you wearing a belt and your belt snapped or your belt was cheap and your pants fell. But if you just sagging just to be sagging and you ain't got no excuse whatsoever, your belt is fine and you needed to drop that. <laughs> you needed to drop that beer. I'm sorry. You deserve to fall and bust your chin. This guy tries to steal a TV, but falls, dropping the heavy screen on his face. You drop the TV screen on your face. These two try to make off with some furniture. These would-be robbers try to steal something outside of a loading bay. The camera catches them as they fumble with the long object. When one robber trips, they give up and flee empty-handed. team of robbers look like they know exactly what they're doing as they gracefully drop into position. However, it seems there's a weak link in this team as one robber struggles with the fence. <laughs> oh my god. catch this guy stealing various tablets and computers he decided to go for the display models which are of course all wired together to prevent theft watch him destroy everything in an attempt to get some loot who doesn't know the floor models are wired in. His failed exit gives the <laughs> shop owner more than enough time to catch him in the act.
having a motorcycle driver is kind of genius. Your loot and getaway vehicle all rolled into one. But if you do it as slow and sloppy as this guy, someone is bound to stop you. If you want to win an iPhone 11, just subscribe and turn... Look, I'm going to tell you all something, right? Something tells me... I would say half the people that do stuff like this, you guys are either rookies and never robbed somebody before, or no disrespect to anybody out there who got like, you know, drug users and abusers in their family, but, or y'all just junkies. One or the two, like, you see you can't, you see you can't take the tablet or the phone off the, the wire thing so but the fact that your uh your thirst for you know whatever you're trying to go after whatever you're trying to get you're trying to get to the pawn shop and sell it but i'm done I i'm really done with y'all man i'm really done with y'all on post notifications to be entered in the giveaway <coughs> and simply comment that you did this thief made their way into a grocery store warehouse for the goods. But it seems as though getting in was the easy part, and getting out, well, just watch. <laughs> this robber expertly unhinges this gate. But if you're going to knock down a gate, better get out of the way first. How you fall, F? This woman is about to learn that ceiling tiles aren't weight-bearing. Y'all weak for this. Damn! You can't Bike play that off. Hey, look, this I don't care. I don't care how many people bust their ass in, the, it, you know, at some point in time in their life, right? That right there, you cannot play that off. You see how she tried to get up and act like nothing happened? There's no way. If anybody else was in the store other than obviously her, like paying for something or what, or looking for something, whatever, right? There's no way. That she could play that off and nobody's seen her. As if nobody's seen her. The, no, uh-uh. I'm just not buying it. Because she fell hard as hell. I could tell, man. Handlebars, but fell so hard it put a smile on my face. Have you or anyone you know ever been the victim of a robber? Tell us about it below. This guy's plan is genius break into a store, wrap some chains around the safe, and drag it out of the store with your vehicle to a safe location. Hey, Too bad that only... Tell me why. As soon as I seen that truck in this, the, the, uh, the, the commentary dude or whatever, he said getting a chain and then hooking it onto the ATM and then dragging it. Why? Did that instantly remind me of the movie Barbershop? The first one, not the second one or third one. The first one. Yeah, instantly that just came to my mind. Like, like I say, dumbest criminals, man. The dumbest. Works dumbest set of dumb. Remember to connect the chains. In his panic, he is forced to leave them behind. Safe one, robber zero. sneakily snags a bag from this guy's passenger seat. Too bad his driving is not as good as his sneaking ability. <laughs> this
this would-be thief gets past this home's gate, steals a moped, and almost gets to safety. Almost is the key word here. Keep watching for when the owner shows up. Like, hi, how you doing? I live here, what you doing? These robbers break into a store through the glass window. We're not sure what happens off camera, but it scares this guy enough to forget which side had the exit hole. That'll teach you. A robber shows up to this electronic store, but the cashier is ready for him. He quickly pulls a pistol out of his back pocket. Oh, he's he ready. Not knowing what to do. Look, look, I don't want no problems. <laughs> I wasn't gonna rob you. That's the end of that video, man. If you guys like this video, give it a fat thumbs up. Like, comment, share. Um, yeah, man. You guys, as far as criminals, you guys are stupid. You know, if you never... Matter of fact, just don't do it. I was about to say, if, especially if, you, if this is like your first time doing it and you never really done it before. Like, but no, just don't do it. Just forget what I was about to say. Just don't do it. That goes for anybody else out there, like, guys watching this video, don't rob whatever you want bad enough in life. Just work for it. It's cheaper to do it that way. Because eventually you're going to get caught. Maybe not the first time, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth, not the sixth, not the seventh, not the eighth, not the ninth, not the tenth. But at some point, you guys going to get caught. A hard head make a soft ass. Y'all remember that? No. I'm not trying to sound like anybody's parent, but I'm just giving y'all the real to real, man. Like, y'all see it right here. Like, it, it don't work out whichever way is, you know, people be ready nowadays. Like, so y'all got to start using this. But it's your boy, Micah Veli, and we about to be up at this thing. You know, like, like I said before, you know, you guys... I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I want you guys to stay safe. I know it's Saturday, so everybody is, you know, a little, a little rowdy over the weekend. But for real, for real, stay safe. I mean it. Y'all have a blessed and safe one. I'm out of here. Peace.